Hi, what's up guys? Today I would like to create a new tutorial using C4D. I think before one year ago I uploaded um, the product pack short using C4D. Now I am revealing um, my rendering and lighting techniques. So I think it's very simple. I used some grayscale gorilla product. So let's go jump to C4D. So this is our scene before the previous part we created. So to uh, add lighting, I use HDRI lighting from Grayscale Gorilla Plus. So this is uh, HDR Studio Rig. So easy method to add some H add lighting. So before we start, um, we add some global illumination. You can add by right button on here and click on the global animation then change the preset to object visualization preview it's the best method for best preset for uh, preview of your product there is no extra time there is no extra rendering time so just check so i just rendering with the basic lighting so you can see the basic lighting is okay so if you want to change the HDRI image, so if you want to change the lighting of this HDRI, so you can choose open browser and choose your own HDRI images. Then change it and you can run it again. So see the difference of so you can check every HDRI images and find a suitable HDRI then also you can change the background color of the seamless floor by using seamless floor control okay, I think I used the dark orange and light orange in previous tutorial in my work so you can set it to your own style your own colors okay and now i am explaining how i create this uh, camera animation so this is a basic scene and create one camera and set it, uh, the angle of ending angle and copy that camera and this is our, our first angle so set the first angle of view and this is our first angle and name it to camera 1 and this is our second angle okay, create like this to angled cameras now we want to morph between these two cameras so you can create a, any new camera I think it's okay yeah so create a new camera and you can name it to main or anything it's not important so add a camera morph tag to the main camera then change the view to the main camera and in morph tag you can change the multi morph and add the camera 1 and 2 okay then you when you change the value of blend you can see the animation between camera 1 to Two. and I just turn off the camera ok you can blend it between camera 1 to next ok so you can animate between you can animate in blend I add a keyframe on the 0 frame and 100 frame ok add another key if you you can, and also you can soft you can interpolation is smooth movement and also you can stabilize the object I set the can for the stabilization so if you play you can see the camera animation perfectly so if you add some if you add 
lighting and here i add some global illumination and make it preset the object visualization preview and also add some material to our object making a reflection material i add and also add some glass material so next we want to add i think the reflection okay. add some another material for okay, this is our basic rendering okay so we need to add some depth of field to the glass say so everything is infinity focusing so we want to add some depth of field i changed the material it's not okay so before you if you want to add depth of field change the render to physical and turn on the depth of field then go to the camera okay with the second camera and this is our camera focal length uh, you can see our canon orange is now focusing okay you can add another method to fo add focusing by using uh, focus object just drag your object to the focus object now perfectly focusing or oh, if you add the glass you can see now glass is focusing okay you can check set your own product for focusing okay now our can is focusing and another method focusing uh, i just clear the focus object and focus distance just to click on any focus is the best way to focus so i use focus object then if you want to add okay if you render render it now there is no uh, our focus is okay but there is no depth of field i increase the for size for a little bit okay now we want more background blurry so go to physical and f stop aperture set it to 1 and render it again and test your file it's not okay so i change it to 0 0.1 now render it again yeah it's okay so uh, find your uh, find your perfect value for your scene now go to the main scene and i you can see the more camera and multi camera and here and also the f stop value now i just in, and also you can use the exterior hdr images for the high quality images i think it's more render time i think it's take more render time or um, you can hdr images more um, more quality but it's more time so i just use object visualization and save it to and find the um, choose the folder where you want to save so i just choose the desktop or you can set the you can create a new folder folder um, name it any just like frames or product tag short frames out anything okay and i just save it on desktop and also uh, here is the method the format jpeg and you can choose any format but you if you have to color correct it more detailing so just use the exr file open exr file i think it's not here yeah it's here yes. open exr is the more bit more depth in colors okay, you can deeply color correct it when you post uh, color grading process okay, i think it's the best for, uh, format for color grading
and if you want to and also you can set the frame range okay yeah. if you want to old frame rendering set the old frame okay yeah. or adjust current use uh, for testing current frame and render it so our final image is okay next part is how to color grade it so hope you enjoy if you like it please subscribe